Hop on up. Let's go to the property. Welcome to the barn. Hi guys, Rohini here. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. We're gonna be giving you a full tour of our barn, our home to be. Uh, as it stands right now, we're in the process of building it. We'll mostly sage, let's be honest. <laughs> so he'll be giving you a lot of the tour, but I'm really excited to show you where we're at now because it's starting to become more real and uh, we have a bit of a deadline. So we're working away. Um, so come on, let's come in the barn. And if you're not subscribed, do that. <laughs> also, for reference, we moved to Middle Tennessee in February, end of February. Yeah, February. It's now almost July, and we started the barn when? Uh, Mid-April. Mid-April. So it's been going pretty fast. We are in Middle Tennessee, south of Nashville, quite a ways out in the country. So that's... Uh, and we're also on 90 acres of land, which is really amazing. And this barn is at the beginning of our property. And then eventually we'll do a, a dream build, dream house build in the back. So now you have some context. Let's get into the tour. <laughs> hey everybody, welcome to the barn. We decided to choose to build a, a sort of a barn dominium. A lot of people will call them. And the bottom is going to be a shop and the top is going to be a garage or excuse me, an apartment. <laughs> and part of the reason why we chose that was we wanted to be able to do projects and like work on the farm and also build um, something we could live in, in the top. And so we are gonna eventually build a house up the hill. And so I wanted to have a shop area where we could start to build things and do projects and stuff like that. So um, that's why we decided for this style. It is 36 by 28. So it's about a thousand square feet of living space up top and uh, another thousand downstairs. So right here where I'm standing, this is gonna be the front door. We were originally gonna put the door over there, um, but because of the slope of the property, we decided to move it back here. Where Rohini's standing right with the camera, um, there's most likely gonna be like a uh, parking or, or a, uh, whatever it's called. <laughs> <laughs> like a car yeah, overhang carport. thing, carport? Yeah. So walking in from the front door, uh, there's gonna be stairs right here going up into the apartment. Uh, underneath here, I'm most likely gonna do on this side. The plans right as of right now is to do like sort of a simple gym over on this side. And then all against that wall, we're gonna have like tools and workbench and all of that good stuff. It may change as we build everything out. There's nothing really set in stone on this side other than the stairs. Hi buddy. Okay, so over on this side, um, there's going to be a utility room, which is about 14 by 12 feet. And inside there's going to be a dishwasher, or not a dishwasher. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be cool, dual dishwasher. Uh, and inside there's going to be a washer, dryer, a small bathroom, a sink, your, basically your utility hookup, so your water, your hot water heater, electric panel, all that good stuff. So the wall for the utility room is gonna like stop right about here where these posts are. And then as of right now, what I'm thinking is to build a small office here that'll be probably about this wide. So it'll probably come out about eight feet. And then that'll just be a small office. When we ordered our windows, we ended up getting one that was like pretty busted up and it was like a thousand dollar window. They replaced the window for free, but we actually have a, we have the broken one still. So I'm just thinking I'm just going to throw it in there and it'll be in the office. Originally, that wasn't part of the plan, but hey, why not? Free window. Free. And bus. the view is gorgeous. Yeah. Okay, so right here is going to be a garage door. Pretty standard. We haven't decided the style yet, but I think what we're going to do is do sliding doors. Is that right? Yeah, like wooden. Ooh, nice wooden, cow. Put in sliding doors. Uh, I want, I'm not gonna plan on parking the truck in here or the tractor in here, but I did want the option. So we made sure that the clearance height, I can get a truck in here, I can get the tractor in here. And so everything basically from here is gonna be, to that door is gonna be open so that we have that open space. 
Come on up. Obviously, we're gonna have stairs. You know, we might just leave the ladder. I have a little um, adventure. No, we won't. Welcome to the upstairs where we're going to be living. I already love it up here so much. Ugh, just the view and the floors and all of it. <laughs> I can imagine a really beautiful life up here, so I'm really excited. So this is basically, we'll be coming up the stairs here. Yep. Yeah, coming up the stairs here, so guests and visitors will have like a little kind of hallway to go up, um, and then we'll come into this upstairs. And this will all be open concept, um, except for right here. Right here will be the only wall pretty much, and this will divide the like living area with the bedroom and bathroom. So we're still kind of deciding and it might change over time as we get the furniture in and stuff, but probably we're thinking dining area here, I think. Dining area here, um, and we're gonna have some really big 60 by 60, right? Yep, yeah. 60 by 60, 60 inches. I have to confirm all the details of stage. Some really big 60 by 60, like gorgeous windows here. So we'll be able to see this view. But if you just imagine like having a nice dinner table here and you can eat and look out at the view and then it's not a far walk um, to the kitchen, which is just going to be right over here. So the kitchen, which I'll be in the most, <laughs> be my probably most inhabited space. So I'm really excited to design it. Um, that'll be over here. And we'll have a little window here, so there's some light, and you can see the neighbors, but it's okay. They're very nice people. <laughs> um, I can yell at them to come over for dinner. So the like sink area will be right here, probably dishwasher and stove will most likely be on this side, and then um, probably fridge like over here and cabinets um, going across. And we're definitely gonna need to optimize storage for the kitchen because there's not that much room. But luckily we can go up. Yeah, pretty tall ceilings. Pretty so tall. we're thinking about putting in a, oh, a, a loft actually up there. Yeah, we got some new residents. There's a new bird's nest. We have a couple uh, yeah. uh, bird families living here. Sage calls them our tenants. Yeah, we got a multi-family <laughs> situation yeah, multi going on. So then across from the kitchen, I think, originally I thought we'd do the dining area over here, but I actually think it'd be really nice to have the um, hangout like living room area because then people can hang out and if I'm in the kitchen, we can all talk and it's just kind of a nice, nice flow. So we'll have our couch here kind of probably on the sides, I'm not really sure. And then look out into the big window and maybe eventually we'll uh, install like a projector screen to bring down or something because we don't have a TV so, and I don't want to get one. But it would be nice to watch movies on a screen bigger than a laptop. So maybe. What are your thoughts, babe? Yeah, bigger than a 13 inch laptop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I'm just so excited to have this view and then we're also going to have a wood, like a small wood fireplace, um, wood stove. And so I just think it's going to be so cozy in the winter and, and looking out over the hills and ah, I'm so excited. It's such a beautiful view. Ah. And also just the baby, you know, just imagining the baby in here is really fun. Sorry if there's some background noise. It's a very active time right now, unfortunately. Time of day, people are going to work. Well, the entrance for the bedroom and bathroom will just have one door and I'm thinking to do some French like double doors, which I think would look really nice. We might do pocket doors, but we might just have them go in. Weren't we just talking? No, out. Oh, out? Well, towards me. Towards, out. Yeah. Oh yeah. There's someone I'm to run in the kitchen. We're still figuring out the yeah. time, but it'll be double doors, probably around like here. In line with the posts. The in posts. Line with these posts. The yeah. posts. So coming in here, and the, the bedroom will be bigger than the bathroom, obviously. A lot more room in the bedroom. So we'll go in and then this will be the bedroom. And we'll have again another big 60 by 60 window, right? Uh, no, the bedroom windows are a little bit, they're, they're smaller. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. No, you're right. No, you're right, they are. Either. Yeah, we're gonna have a really big window here. So I'd love to have the bed facing this way. So you can wake up with that view every morning. Like, ah, 
And also our neighbors have some horses right there, so we'll be able to see, you can't see them right now, they're up in the field, but you can see the horses from the bedroom, which is just so amazing. Um, so yeah, you probably have the bed, and then if this is my side, I'll have like the little bassinet by the bed, if baby's gonna go in there at all, but probably mostly gonna be in the bed with us. And then have a little changing table over there. And then to get into the bathroom, you have to go in through the bedroom and you'll just like come in the door and then turn right into the bed bathroom and it'll be a little pocket door just to save space. And then this will be the bathroom. And then I am so excited because we're gonna have another huge window over here and gonna have a hopefully clawfoot tub so you can be in the bath. Look out the window at the horses and the view. It's everything I've always wanted. And it's finally coming true. I'm so excited. Um, and then probably toilet there and then either sink across or over here. We're not quite sure. Um, and then we're going to do some built-in storage shelves all along this. What's this called? Uh, which part? Like how there's like a name. Oh, the eaves? No, we always say that. The eaves? No, what's this? That's the gable then. The gable. the gable. That's not the gable. The one. No, no. <laughs> well, there's still something you always say about. That's the E. Okay. Well, the E. <laughs> gonna have built-in shelves here just so we can use some of that space because obviously we're not gonna be able to stand down there. But I think having built-in storage for all of our linens and towels and anything else, we're gonna try and do as much built-in storage as possible because again, we need to maximize space. And then I'm thinking if we have room, we'll do like a little hutch in here for more storage. And um, that's the bedroom and bathroom. I'm so, so excited about these rooms. I've never, we've never lived in a place that's, uh, I've been able to fully design it. So I'm just really excited to get creative and have it be so beautiful and, and, and ours. So one of the things that Rahini said was maximizing storage. So one of the ideas that we came up with was uh, actually putting a loft up here. So they'll run the, the joists from here, from this tie beam to that tie beam. And it will lower the ceiling in the bedroom, but you're already looking at like, I don't know, 11 foot ceilings, I think, with the loft. Um, so it's one thing that's kind of nice about this design is it's gonna allow us to build more space. Uh, so we'll have a loft where they can, you can throw a bed in there, you can throw storage, whatever you want. So one question I've gotten a lot on Instagram is, did you guys go with a kit? And the answer is yes, we did. And the kit that we decided to go with, or the company, is called Legacy Post and Beam. And uh, I'll, maybe we'll make a video about like the entire experience using them. Uh, we wanted we wanted to go with the kit because we wanted to accelerate the timeline and essentially make it easier for ourselves to build something quickly. There are some aspects that it definitely did speed up, but there are some other things too, <laughs> like the design of the actual barn that uh, actually take more time than if you were just to do a traditional like. If you were to do a traditional stick frame build. <laughs> Would you do it again? Uh, that's a good question and I don't want to answer it until I'm done because I, okay. so far I, I have enjoyed this style and I think it's going to look super awesome when it's finished. There are some complexities that I guess I didn't anticipate, <laughs> um, but I think when it's done, I think we're going to be super happy with it and I don't think there's going to be any, any regrets. All the bent construction material is, is Douglas fir, so it's all this rough cut Dougie Douglas Doug. fir and um, it's strong, it's, it's nice to work with. It does have like this cracking, so you get like kind of that rustic look. Where he's gonna sand all of these posts down for the, because there will be some exposure um, in the actual room. Like for example, the one behind Rahini is gonna be fully exposed. So you will get splinters on it. Don't you want don't, the kiddos to get you don't sand it. Is that pine or what's? Yeah, the other stuff is like white pine for the sheathing and the flooring. And we're gonna sand and stain the floor as well. Yeah, so this is this is tongue and groove. And so you can see it's it's face nailed here and then it's it's blind nailed in the bedroom just because I wanted to change it up and see how it would look. I do kinda wish I had blind nailed the entire thing, but yeah. that's okay. It's okay. It'll look nice once it's sanded and stained and stuff. 
I will say one of the things that Rohini is, um, or I guess that we didn't really factor into our decision when we decided to go with this kit is the coloring. So Doug Fur naturally has this very orange look to it, which some people really like. And I, I would say like, if you love the orange look and you mm -hmm. like the style as is with the vaulted ceilings and all that good stuff with a lot of wood exposed, this is like a great option for you. If you don't like the orange, then I would consider maybe looking at some other options just because you can't, we are gonna sand and we are gonna stain and we'll see how that comes out. Um, but it is, it is definitely a lot of extra, extra yeah. work. So in order for us to move in, <laughs> there's quite a lot of things that need to happen. The framing needs to get completed. The outside needs to get completed. We need to insulate the inside. All the utilities need to be run. So electricity, plumbing, gas, need to get uh, put in and then we'll do our sheetrock or our uh, shiplap for the areas that Rohini wants shiplap. We'll do all of that. We'll get our appliances in and then um, hopefully we'll, we'll move in. Do I have a hopeful projected date? Hopefully by October. That's my, yeah. before the weather starts to turn kind of nasty for the winter, that would be my hope. Definitely by December 12th, because that's when baby yeah, might right. come. <laughs> definitely before December 12th. I, I definitely think it's doable. Um, it's just going to be a crunch. Yeah. You've been working so hard, honey. Good job. Sorry for the abrupt switch. Um, we had a neighbor drop by unexpectedly and Sage had to run to a meeting. So we didn't have time to close out the video properly with the camera and all that. Um, and I didn't realize until I was editing it. So I um, am so happy to share the barn with you all and just give you a picture of what our life has been looking like lately, building it and, and what our life will look like as we live there. And I'm just so excited. It's, it's a complete dream come true to design and build our own space. And Sage has been working so hard, so hard. He's been doing it 95% on his own by himself, so. I'm so grateful to him. I'm in awe of him. He's never done this before. Um, he's had some building experience growing up on a much smaller projects, but nothing like this. So I'm just in awe of him. So, so grateful. And um, yeah, I'm, we're gonna keep updating you as we go along. I cannot wait to share when we get in the decorating stage, which will be in a while, but it's gonna be really exciting. And um, yeah. If you have any questions about the barn or something you want Sage to answer, anything like that, please leave it as a comment below and um, we'll probably make, you know, maybe a dedicated video if there's enough questions. So thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate it. And um, we love sharing the journey with you all and um, wishing you a beautiful day. See you soon. Bye.